As an, an explosives inspector, one of my primary roles uh, is the, the licensing of explosives uh, stores, facilities, and also for transportation. That's throughout the country as well. On a day-to-day -day basis, it can vary from enquiries coming in to actually formulation of licenses for the storage, the handling, and the manufacture of explosives throughout the country. Prior to joining the health and safety, uh, I was self-employed for three years. Uh, and prior to that, it was uh, a period of 22 and a half years in the Royal Navy uh, as a clearance diver. So the use of explosives and diving come together. The first few weeks of, of joining the organization, it was, it was pretty daunting at first to come into such a large organization. But I think I was, I was very quickly enveloped into the unit, into HID, into the bigger picture of where we're hopefully going to be in a year's time, in two years' time, three years' time. But the development is always still ongoing. But to join the organisation, at first, there is set routes for training uh, and you are allowed to develop it really as fast or as slow as, as you want, but with the, the emphasis of the drive for the importance of becoming a, a good inspector. What gives me a good boost or a good personal feeling is duty holders actually taking notice of what we're trying to achieve. So I think that the, the good balance is going out and pushing the safety aspect and, and learning more about the industry that I'm in, actually serving. I'd embrace it all the way and say, you know, it is hard work. It doesn't come, you know, there is a price on everything and your dedication to wanting to achieve a position in the health and safety, it is achievable um, through hard work and dedication. So, and the rewards are good. The, the salary is very good and the flexible working time and conditions are, are very good.